Oh, I way. hope I look like him by the end of this. Look at him. Look at him. He's so beautiful. Hey everyone, it's Victor here and I have Teddy with me again and that's become like my new <laughs> intro for when Teddy's with me and I have Teddy with me. So today Teddy is going to do my makeup and we've been meaning to do this kind of video for ages, haven't we? Because Teddy's very very good at makeup. If you don't already follow, he's probably gonna deny it, but if you don't already follow Teddy on Instagram, go and check out all his makeup looks he's done. He does amazing like SFX, like body paint stuff. And, all that, and, and he's hiding away because he doesn't want to hear it, <laughs> but that's fine because I, I still want to talk about it. But today we are going to be turning me into Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. And it's probably no secret that we love this series because we've done videos about The Witcher on my channel already. You've probably already seen them. The twist is usually I'm Yaskir and Teddy is Geralt. So we are kind of not quite switching because I'm not turning into Yaskir today, but we'll probably have to do a video where I do that. But Teddy's gonna turn me into Geralt today. Not the game version, the Netflix series version. So that's what we're doing. We're doing Henry Cavill, our beautiful himbo man. So, I'm gonna get started on that. I'm, I'm, I've got nothing on my face other than just a bit of foundation. foundation. Just yeah. as a kind of base, but that that's it. Um, what are we starting with then? Right, so I think we should probably start with, because you've done your base, probably start with Contouring, I think. Contouring, okay. I was gonna say, have you put any satin powder on? No. Could I put some satin powder on? Do it, yeah. You're just like, my face is yours right now. So I'll just put this on because okay. it'll just mattify. And what's it that a bit. you're using? It's uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. The next I literally ethics. bought it because of the name. <laughs> Where there is a bit of I don't care. I even got it in my mouth there. <laughs> That's my main problem, is I can't stop talking. Well, That's the thing. You're gonna, have, now. you're gonna have to talk. For most of it. You're gonna no. have to. No, no one wants to listen to Teddy talk. Yes! Ted Everyone talk. wants Ted, Ted talk. talk. Thank you for coming to my, my Ted, Ted talk. talk. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that was a thing. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Oh. No one. It's no broke. One. I think anymore. that means n you're not fair at all, sir. Please go home. <laughs> but I am home. <laughs> Look, my neck's been broken. I'm, like. gonna, do... <laughs> I'm gonna do a darker. I think that's an easier job because it just adds more definition. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes, I just feel like it's more dramatic that way. Just like... <laughs> What's Henry Cavill's face shape? Is it very different from mine? Uh, it's just more angular, really. I think yeah. he's got a wider jaw. He does, he's got a very like pronounced, a bit more of a jaw like yours. A, a, a bit more of a jaw like yours! I don't know what happened there! Is <laughs> ah, it taken by some kind of... Tory? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying everyone that has that accent is a Tory. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. Is this the first time you've done my makeup? Uh, yeah. I can't believe that. We've been together two years. Two years in February. Yeah. And you've never done my makeup? No. I've done yours twice. You have now, yeah. I think. Square me up. That is cool, actually. Because I do this kind of contour for some characters, but I always make it so that the chin's much narrower, narrower. than mine, but yeah. that's really interesting. That's like making my chin so much wider. See that? Already. Mm -hmm. Just makes mm. it strengthens Whoa, that's so it cool. as well. <laughs> Here comes the Grimson chin! <laughs> I like this though. I'm usually always doing my own makeup, so it's so nice for you to do it. Yes, yeah, so it looks really harsh on the camera. No, no, it's good though. Because you see it on the camera. It's much and it harsher. looks, yeah, whereas when remember, I'm remember our it, lights are very, yeah, very forward facing, so it's not like we've got lights all the way around us, which we probably should, but I don't have that kind no. of, I don't have that kind of light money. <laughs> He's so beautiful. Like, who <laughs> gave him the right? That face if butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> to be fair, like, He's got a beautiful face, but I wouldn't want his face. Like, I still want my face, because we always say this. People always wish I to look like other people. Face. Seriously, would you? Yeah. You'd probably face. still be unhappy. I bet he has insecurities. That's the thing, everyone's like, oh, I wish I looked like that guy. But actually, that guy probably has insecurities as well. And wish he prob Maybe he wishes he looked like you. You don't know that. See, Teddy's too... <laughs> He's not the right person to talk about these things. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean like... You should be happy with the... Yeah, you face should. You have. Because that's the thing. If you I wish am. for anything else, just... you'll never be happy. And I feel like that that road, you, you can go down that road, yeah. you know, and it can be so dangerous for yeah, you. I must admit, it is very dangerous to, you know, it, it's pointless wanting to be someone else. 
Yeah. Because all these people you wish you look like, they had no choice but to look like that. Yeah. And they, they will have guaranteed, I guarantee you will have had insecurities about how they look. Yeah. Absolutely. But just because they're famous or because they've become this like flavor of the month, everyone thinks that's the ideal. Yeah. But actually, right. everyone is beautiful in their own way. Yeah, no, you are very right. Hello, cheekbones. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, cheekbones. Where have you been? Oh, no, you have, you have great cheekbones. You have great oh, cheekbones. Right. Yeah, because I've had a lot of issues with my face over the years. Like, for, for multiple reasons. But, and it was only after I started getting comments of people going, Oh, I wish I looked like you. I started to think, that's what I've been saying to other people. Yeah. I realized this is like a kind of vicious cycle that everyone can get into is wishing to be someone they aren't yeah but but actually those people themselves have had insecurities because i i would have done anything to change my face so many times in my life but that's it made me really wake up and think actually i'm gonna start loving myself for who i am and not wanting to change anything yeah and it's hard it's not easy no. to do that you know like but you have to you just you know, you enhance what you've got. You know, that's the beauty of makeup as well. Like, I'm not saying, like, I must admit, like, I religiously used to put makeup on my face every day when I used to go to college because I used to hate my mm. discoloration and my rosacea on my cheeks. Mm. But the older you get, the less you care. And you mm. realise that actually, you know what? But also no you realise that these things are beautiful as well. Yeah, Because this is yeah. the thing, Teddy, right? People actively that don't have rosacea and and like you know like red marks on their face they put them on people put blush on that's people put I mean. uh, make themselves have red noses like yeah. that's the thing it's it's a everyone has their own idea of what beauty is and it's nearly always something you are not because that's the very thing it's it's the whole grass is greener on the other side thing yeah everyone's gonna think oh that thing that that person has is better but it's just because it's something that you don't have. That's why you think it's better. Yeah, no, no, I do think you're right. It's like people that have straight hair, they want curly, curly hair. Curly hair. People have curly hair, want straight hair. Exactly. It's like a, it's, you always have what you don't, don't want. Don't want. And you always want what you don't have. have. That's probably the better way to put it mm. around, really. I'm not... No, no, it's good. It works eloquent. both ways. Yes, you are. Just brings it in like it's, mm. again. I'm not a professional by any means, and then probably people will be cringing about it. No, like, you, know you shouldn't do that. <laughs> they've been watching me. <laughs> I think if they they've already cringed many times. Sorry. <laughs> I was I was on a mission. You were still talking. Like I need to finish this. Time. We're moving on to nose next. Nose time. Nose time. Nose time. Nose time. So it's very nice. It's kind of like yours in that mm. regard because yours is quite. Narrow. Slim at the top. It's quite slim all the way around, really. Well, he's got like a wider bit at the bottom than I do. Yeah. It's very slim at the bottom, my nose. Oh, see? yeah, wow. So what I'll do is, when I add the highlight on, that'll make it pop a lot more mm, because it's mm -hmm. like the highlight and the shadow that... Yeah. I find it so interesting because when you do someone's makeup, you really study their face so extremely. Do you know what I mean? You really mm. like get close and even though we know each other's faces quite well, I feel like you actually really get to know someone's face by doing makeup on it. Yeah, no definitely. I think it's um, interesting because obviously how I do this makeup on my face is totally different. It's completely different to how I would do it on yours because you've got a completely different shape of nose. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. There, isn't there? Yeah. But yeah. That's like totally changed the shape of my nose. It's made it like, like more like w wide in parts than it yeah. wasn't. It's really interesting. He's got like loads of like lines and stuff on his. I mean, I, luckily I have some lines on my forehead, so you won't need to put them in. Yeah. But he's got lines like around like here, there. Yeah, I'll add them in. It almost looks over the top, but what it does is by tapering it more up, it makes the section that section yeah look, look wider. wider. Honestly, it makes you want to fall asleep, doesn't it? You just mm. get so like chilled out. It's just quite nice, isn't it? Like, mm, I like it. It's yeah. more deep now, doesn't it? When you look in more comparison to your my natural other eye. eye, yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> this picture! Oh god. <laughs> we should have based my makeup on that one. Mm, I don't know about that, but a bit, bit hard, that one. That's the thing that makes you want to fall asleep, mostly because when you close your eyes... <laughs> That's like a sort of sign for your body to start sleeping. <laughs> so you end up going like... Uh... <laughs> Fighting monsters all the time <laughs> it takes it out of you. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going for comparison? Is it looking okay? Yeah. Are you 
you're gonna need time to prepare the beard. I've cut it all out. Uh, oh great! So it's pretty much ready to go because okay. that's the time. That's the thing that's a bit consuming, mm. time consuming. Um, right, I'm gonna do your brows now. Yep, cool. Um, How do you do the brows then? What do you use for the brows? Well, I usually use a white uh, eyeliner. Okay. Uh, like a pencil one. Um, ah, to go over like the hairs. Yeah, because what it does is it gives you a good base to cover as well, and then usually I. You add, like maybe put darker powder or. Yeah, I add. Um, I can add grey and stuff to that then. Uh, for his grey brows, because he's an old man. <laughs> Blame them for going grey with the trials and stuff they have to go through with become a witcher. I know, right? Pretty intense. Terrible. I feel like the people that haven't played the games or read the books, like, will kind of not really know. So it'll be interesting if they cover it in like the new, the new I know, season. I'm kind of curious to see what they'll do because apparently they are introducing some of the other witchers. I yeah. Like, I think it was Lambert and stuff. I love Lambert. <laughs> I just like can't wait for the season, new season in general. I'm really excited. I think it'll just be great. I've just, I just need it in my life, you know. Those pictures of Yaskir made me so happy. The release ones with that Good outfit boy. and playing his little loot. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so his eyebrows are just a tiny bit thicker than yours. Yeah, and they're more like square here. Okay, so aren't they? This looks a little bit messy, but it always. Well... I use I use like white pencil sometimes, and it can look a bit weird at first, but I'm gonna trust the process. Here's the brows. So basically Teddy's put that down as a kind of like primer, this kind of uh, white eyeliner as a kind of base so that when we apply the powder, it will stick to it better basically. That's the kind of idea, which is a good idea actually. I thought, I don't know, I couldn't tell if it was mine or yours. <laughs> We're standing too close together. <laughs> is that yours? Because I know I'm not feeling at the tummy noise. No, you know? mine's not feeling as well, but it sounds. <laughs> I, I thought it was coming from me. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't feel it. <laughs> Maybe it's Pearl. The rumbly tummy. Maybe it's Pearl going. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wants tasty tweets. I have no idea where this tummy noise tweets. is coming from. I think it is me. Is it you? Yeah, I think it might be. What was James Bond? Just for the day, <laughs> kissing all the girls and chase the bad guys away. We might we might have to speed up the beard process or do like a, a, a later that evening. Just had a bit of a. Sorry. <laughs> Remember when I blew on your face and gave you the biggest fright ever? Oh, fall out. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said I'm about to blow violently on your face. Sorry, I you should got me say, back. I'm gonna blow in your face. These are the brows you put on me. No, but in general. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You've got very good brows. You know the ones you put on my face just now. <laughs> I look really different. You do actually. I can yeah, see it now. Yeah, I can now. see it like happening. Especially when you have the wig on, you'll look quite different. Yeah, and the beard. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna do contour down your neck next. Okay. I nearly forgot about that. Uh, just to tie in everything, and then we can um... move on to the beard. I was so like excited about the beard. beard. Beard time. Beard. Ironically, I had to shave before we did this though, because my actual stubble would have got in the way. But I don't have as good pattern as uh, Henry does, so I couldn't just use my own facial hair. I wish I could. So what I need to do now is add prosade to your face and literally I'm just okay. gonna... So Teddy's it. gonna put prosade as a base um, around here and then he's gonna take a uh, crepe wool. It's this stuff, so it's like, it's like wool. It's literally and just called crepe wool. Crepe wool. Yeah. And he cuts off little bits, which we have in here. My little pot of goodies. Um, and basically he uses that and it's like a kind of like salt and pepper like you know, just like Geralt's like hair, hair color, yeah. and he's gonna stick that then onto my sticky prosady face. Mm, it's gonna feel so good on my face. It is gonna feel amazing, darling. Right, I'm gonna start round your jaw. I think. So I'm literally just dabbing it on. Mm. Again, there's probably better ways to do this double effect, mm. but this is just how I do it, and it's, it's good. The best method I've found for me that works. And the finer you can chop them, the better, because it looks mm -hmm. more like a stubble than a... Mm. It's very cool. 
And where did you learn this technique? I just messed around with things. So it was like um, your invention? Well, I've not seen anyone else that's done it, let's put it that way. Mm. Don't but, steal. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, but like, I did a lot, I used to do, well, I've done a lot of characters that have stubble, and I hated drawing it on. I've tried other methods with spirit gum. Yeah. But because of my rosacea and stuff, I can put stubble on without foundation. And a yeah. lot of people were like, oh, no, you can't. Don't wear like, foundation, yeah. You need, if you're doing spirit gum, you need to not wear foundation, but I can't do that. It doesn't work for yeah. me. Um, I like to put a full face of makeup on. So but it looks so good already. Like, it looks so real. It just looks textured. It just, it, it does the job. It does the same job as it would with spirit gum, but it's just prosade. And it just means that you don't end up getting really tacky. I think as well, spirit gum seems harsher. I don't know about oh, you. Oh, it's such a strong smell. Um, yeah. But prosade, I think, is a little gentler. I don't know if that's right yes, or wrong. Yes, I but... do think it is. Like, I find that, like, because I've done the mistake before when I've been doing, like, certain cosplays and been doing special effects makeup. Well, it's the kind mm. of special effects makeup I do anyway. Um, I put spirit gum close to my eyes, and you're not actually supposed to. It's like really yeah. bad, and it is. You can feel how I strong hated it using is. using it. I used it for putting on my mustache for uh, Dorian, um, and I, I, you had to put it right underneath your nose, obviously. And I remember the smell. I just, I thought I was going to pass out because it's right under your nose. Yeah, it's a very strong smell. Um, but you know, for stubble, like I've used it for Gavin and for Will Graham and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's my favourite technique. And it's really so much good. quicker than actually drawing it on because drawing and it much on more speaks. realistic. Yeah, like it's actually like looks like hair. So we're done. Look at this beard. Isn't it amazing? I I'm so like sad that I can't have this in real life. It's so cool. The crepe wool has worked so well. Like look at that. Like getting really close. I think even like close up, it actually looks like a real beard. Yeah, it's really it, convincing. The, the finer you can get it cut the better like because when you end mm -hmm. up with long bits and i did end up with a few um you can barely notice it yeah. i i think it looks great but the finer you can chop the wall the better because mm -hmm. it's almost like a powder then and you can literally yeah. just touch it and layer it up as thick or as light as you want it to be so i love it it's great yeah so it's not like it's like perfect. my finally my fantasy of, <laughs> of having this kind of pattern of beard yeah so it, like so it's not perfect but um, you know, you're you... too you're too hard on yourself. No, though. I know, but it's because like you're I know not in shot people, at all. I know I'm hiding away. <laughs> Don't um... hide away. We need to put the wig on. Yes, Sorry, what were you going to say about other people? Um, no, I was going to say there's probably other people that can do it a lot better. But, you're just saying um, that. No, it's Ignore true him. though. Ignore him. Um, but this is just the method I found that works well for yeah. me. So yeah. Um, we're gonna get the wig on then. Yeah, if we can find it, I need to find. Okay, the wig. <laughs> go find the wig. Let's go find the wig. on it's done that is so scary i look, look so different look really good i mean my face does still look like you can tell i'm not fully Geralt, but you can see how much I, my face has changed like because i'm much skinnier that's the one thing yeah. that's always going to be given away is like i'm not as like burly I'm and same, big as him yeah. but that's a hard thing to be considering his his regime yeah. like his his like you know but honestly it's crazy how different I look, actually. Thank you so much, Bean. I absolutely love it. And I love this wig, obviously, as I well. I know. It's not the, like, it was quite a cheap one, really, but it's still doing a good job. It's really great. And I love, actually, the little bits you've left down. Yeah, it makes it look a bit more natural, I think. It does. I really like that. I can't stop looking in the monitor. This is so, like, strange to see. Like, first of all, to have such a nice beard pattern, because I wish I had this in real life. <laughs> so sad that I Same, don't. though. But, uh, but you will though, you'll get it, you'll get it. You won't be cursed like me. Um, and look at these brows, like, the brows I think like change my face probably the most maybe? I don't know, there's a lot of contour, but as well. the nose. Because your nose, it has a different shape now. Like, even yeah. though, obviously when you see it side on, it's still your nose, but it just has a slightly different... Yeah, yeah. it does. It's funny, because your, your snapback's gonna keep me from getting too close to you. Like a kind of like, the, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm so so happy with this, and like it's crazy because 
I didn't think when I thought like, oh, he's turning into like Henry Cavill. It's such a different face from mine. I mm-hmm. thought it'd be really hard, but it's amazing what contour can do. It is really makeup's an amazing thing. It is makeup and you always uh, look perfect anyway. But Aww, no, yes, you do is. though. But no, it looks really good. Um, I think I really like. I want to cosplay Geralt now, you like should. properly, and do it like more often. I'd love to do that. I think that's what makes cosplay so much fun is you can completely change how you look. Yeah. And like you can just become a fictional character for a day or whatever, you know, for half an hour, whatever, however long you want to cosplay. Um, but that's why I love cosplay because it's just like freeing, really, isn't it? Hey. Teddy's a nightmare. He always wants to be out of frame. <laughs> I'm constantly having to reframe. This is Stop, why I move the camera. This is why for... I don't have a YouTube and I bumped you on the head. Then. That's all right. This I'll is just, why I'm just holding on to him like this so he can stay in the middle <laughs> I of frame. Bumped you on the head again. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. Oh god. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this transformation. I hopefully want to turn Teddy into Yaskier at some point and he can wear my like, you know, cosplay and everything for I don't that. Know if I'll be able to fit. I'll be like, worried about Teddy's slightly it. taller than me and you're a bit more broad than me. Like your shoulders are bigger than mine and stuff. So uh, I don't know, I might fit into the top half, but I don't think I'll fit like, into I'm, the top. Like I'm I'm notoriously small. Like, I'm I'm deceptively small. I kept thinking, like, because I wear both, like, men's and women's clothes. Like, I don't really care. Like, I buy whatever I like. And you were looking for, like, trousers for me or something. And bought, like, a size 8. And I was like, yeah, I'm a size 8. I'm pretty sure I'm a size 8. But he brought them back. They were huge on me. And then he bought a size 6, and it was perfect. I'm like, how am I a size 6? That's tiny. Because you're a slender boy. Um, but that's the thing. I'm deceptively small. So, um, yeah. I'm a pixie. Can you just imagine <laughs> this tiny girl? This is what I am right now. I'm a tiny little girl. I would love to be picked up by Henry Cavill with like <laughs> one hand. Because I probably could I probably could be. And that would be just the best image right now, especially dressed like this. But anyway, I am I am just going off on a tangent now. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you very soon.